Palestinian groups are anticipating a surprise attack on Gaza by Israel Defense Forces in a reported plan to flood Hamas tunnels with nerve gas, according to a new media report. News.com has learned their speculation the nerve gas plan would be overseen by U.S. Special Forces, according to the unconfirmed report. A report published by Middle East Eye, a UK-based outlet focused on the region, cites an unnamed senior Arab source. The operation would involve infiltrating Hamas tunnels in an attempt to rescue approximately 220 hostages held by the militant organization and kill militants. The source maintains they received the information from a U.S. intelligence leak. Intentionally forbidden gases, particularly nerve gas, and chemical weapons, the unnamed source claims. The report claims U.S. Delta Force operators would be involved. Depending on the type, nerve gas can be capable of paralyzing a person for 6 to 12 hours, and can also be fatal within minutes of inhaling, shutting down the lungs. The plan hinges on the element of surprise so as to decisively win the battle, using internationally forbidden gases, particularly nerve gas, and chemical weapons. Large quantities of nerve gas would be pumped into the tunnels, said the source, per Middle East Eye. Symptoms of exposure to the agent include nausea and violent headaches, blurred vision, drooling, muscle convulsions, respiratory arrest, and loss of consciousness, the report notes. The outlet further reported that the U.S. is coordinating this operation with Israel and that the Defense Secretary of the United States is holding frequent phone calls with Israel's Defense Secretary. U.S. Department of Defense spokesperson Sabrina Singh responded to the speculation, saying, this is not true and this reporting is inaccurate, according to Middle East Eye. Nerve gas is outlawed by the Hague and Geneva Conventions, as Newsweek reports. Israel Defense Forces were attacking positions in the northern Gaza Strip, Reuters reports, on Thursday, October 26, in preparation for the next stages of combat, according to an online IDF statement. The source in contact with Middle East I stated Israel's delay of a ground invasion was misinformation that was spread to surprise Hamas and gain the upper hand in the battle and that the multi-pronged operation would involve Israeli commandos landing in northern Gaza and along the coast. News recently reported that Israeli troops carried out a brief ground assault in northern Gaza to prepare the battlefield overnight into Thursday, October 26, ahead of the full-scale ground invasion. Rear ADM Daniel Hagari a spokesman for the Israeli military, said that the limited raid was part of our preparations for the next stages of the war. The Times of Israel reported that this brief incursion appeared to be the biggest ground assault in the Gaza enclave since Israel declared war on Hamas earlier in October. The raid was led by the Javadi Infantry Brigade and the 162nd Armored Division of the Israeli military.